ascending. What's up, Gun Nut Nation? Um, it's me again, the Gun Nut. Uh, we're changing things up a little bit. Like I said, uh, on during during the hunting season and stuff, I'm gonna try to change things around. I'm trying not to shoot as much down here in the range because that's, as you can see in the way back in the background, my food plot. That's where I hunt at as well. So um, I'm gonna tend to start doing uh, some outdoor stuff and gear reviews. You know. Just stuff. Something to keep videos going and coming. Uh, try to get you guys some more information on whatever it is that I can do. Um, today, we're going to review over a uh, electric game call by Fox Pro. This sucker is pretty awesome. It, um, big thank you to Fox Pro. Uh, it's, it's, you can actually record up to, I believe, 300. Yeah, 300 capable sounds that you can record onto here you can go on their website and it's got the little link that you can download the the sounds and on the bottom side undo that you got your you can do on auxiliary like say if you want to add an extra speaker somewhere make it a little bit louder you can do that it'll play through that uh it's got a charger on it so if you want to use chargeable batteries anything if you open up the inside on the back i'm not gonna right now because i've been using it i tighten the crap out of it but on the inside there's a port where you can uh, kimble the cable, you plug it in there and that's how you download your, all your sounds to it. But um, it's I, it's not submersible, um, it's somewhat weatherproof, you know what I'm saying? If, it, if it's slightly raining, yeah, you can put it out there, it's okay. I wouldn't leave it outside like you do, you would with a game camera, you know? When in downpouring rain, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, <coughs> It's pretty awesome. Uh, you can actually record up to, it says on here, three separate units. So the cool thing about this is you can position this on a tree somewhere. And this wind is crazy, guys. So if there's any wind noise, I apologize. But uh, you can position this on a tree, downfield, down your view, wherever your tree stands at, away from you. Because how many times, guys, I know you've been there guys and girls uh, you're up in the tree stand you're sitting there you got your call and you burn burn hit it a couple times then next you know you're like uh, you gotta freeze because he's looking up straight at you and you're like oh, I can't move I can't move and you're sitting there for like two three minutes waiting for him to look away and you're like oh god turn around turn around turn around he finally moves you go to reach for your gun and then all of a sudden he picks up on you and you're like oh gotta freeze again man you know you're sitting there playing red light green light with the buck you know, like red light, green light, ah, red light, green light, whoop, red light, green light. Come on, man. That's, it's a hassle. With this, it's awesome. Because with this, Fox Pro came out with, and you could put it on a tree away from you. The, the deer's going to be automatically attracted to the sound. It's going to be looking for that sound. They're create, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ah, uh, brain fart. I lost the word. They're, um, they want to know what's going on around them. So if they hear that sound, that deer call, or the grunt, or the bleats, whatever, they're going to go to it. They're looking for that sound away from you. You know, it's kind of unnatural for a sound of a buck or a, a grunt call or a bleat to be coming up from the tree. So that's kind of right there going to throw them a red flag. But if it's down at ground level with them, they're looking around. They're like, where's that coming? Where's that coming from? You're up top. You got free range of movement. You ain't got to be worried about being spotted, you know, unless you're up there doing jumping jacks or some, something like that. I don't know. But um, it's actually pretty loud. Um, after you do that, it's got a button down here at the bottom. Hold it in. The green light comes on. <coughs> Remote. Wow. Stand antenna out. Turn it on. It's going to go through the function. It's going to ask you to make sure the antenna is extended out. Okay. And you can pre-program it. I got two favorites of the pre-program one pre-program one and number two i got a one is my uh, my grunt and two is my doe and it's got different sounds on here i'll just go through uh you can mark them as your favorites too uh i've got 
man, the sucker. You can mark up to 10 as your favorites. You got your menu button, your grunt call. It got young, young bunk, young bunk, buck grunt call, uh, buck call, mature buck call. It's even got some rattling in here. Um, go back to menu, your bleeps. You got your do bleep one, do bleep two. You got what's called the chase. I mean, I can go on and on and on. But like I said, also, it's a predator call. So if you're out in the woods, you're hunting, you've had a bad day, you had nothing come up, you know, you're sitting there, uh, let me go on a, uh, do a bleep real quick. Let's turn this up. We've got the volume settings. You can, yeah, it's also got volume settings. So you can turn it all the way up, turn it all the way down. That's about halfway. So trust me, if you're out in the woods and this stuff's echoing around, it's gonna be loud. I know, cause I've already had it in the woods and it's loud. Um, you got a mute, so you can mute it at any time. Go back to your features or your menu, and then you can do a buck. Or say you've been like that, you've been hunting all day. You're kind of in a bad mood because you ain't seen nothing. All right, cool. Go to your menu. Go down until you get to your predator calls. You go into your predator calls, and then bam. You got everything from a coyote locator to a pup, uh, distress to a whitetail, jackrabbit, cottontail, a woodpecker. I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff. what I mean go back up I see what's this Eastern cottontail okay why not I mean it's oh <laughs> I thought something was coming <laughs> that was my dog <laughs> My dog's wondering, like, what the world? <laughs> I was like, man, that worked fast. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's pretty awesome. So if you're out in the woods, you've been hunting all day, and you're like, man, I ain't seen no, not one single deer. You know what? Hit the predator call. Try to see if you can get a coyote in. That way you can at least shoot something. So um, it's pretty awesome. It takes a 9-volt battery on the remote. And on the back of this, it takes uh, four or I'm sorry eight double-a batteries and the range of it is actually pretty good I've had it out to about as long as you got a clear line of sight and you're not you know zigzagging everywhere you know but as long as you got a good clear line of sight if you can see it I've had this sucker out to about 60 yards and it picks up just fine but again I had a clear line of sight so um, but that's this guy this thing's pretty awesome I like it um, it's very, very easy to use. And like I said, it's pretty, pretty durable. It's kind of, it's pretty robust. You know, it comes a hard case. Like I said, it comes with a strap so you can mount it to the tree, tie it up, get up to your stand, you know, hit it, and there you go. You ain't gotta worry about having to pull out your grunt, oh, excuse me, your grunt call, your rattle bag, or you, you don't have to try to worry about disguising your movement when you're out hunting, you know, versus this, where you just hit a button, it does the work for you. You got free range movement, you ain't gotta worry about a deer looking up at you, trying to find that sound, this does it for you. So uh, again, guys, uh, check it out. It's the Fox Pro, it's the Buck Pro. Um, like I said, I believe this one from, uh, yeah, here it is. From the manufacturer, it came with 25 whitetail sounds, plus 10 predator calls yeah so um it's pretty awesome and like i said this remote can control up to three two other extra units three total so um 
Fox Pro. Fox Pro. Fox Pro. Y'all check them out. Good stuff. Good products. Um, guys, that's it. If you got any questions, comments about it, if you guys have used this before in the field, uh, comment below. Let me know. Uh, like I said, I've only used it once. It carried just. I've never. I haven't used it really to hunt. I've used it just to take out in the field, just to try to see how much of it echoes it sounds. Because at first, to me, it's like, oh, that's not really loud enough. But once I got in the woods, I tried it out, set it up. You know, just kind of pretend hunt. So I'm sitting there waiting. Hit it one time, and um, it actually echoes out a good bit. I mean, it echoes pretty good. So. Um, but yeah, guys, check them out. Fox Pro. Uh, Buck Pro by Fox Pro. <laughs> but guys, again, this is the gun nut. And uh, we're taking a different alternative view at the way I'm doing some reviews uh, during the season uh, of hunting. And like I said, even when the season's out, when summer and spring gets here and it's back to shooting, I'm still going to do some more uh, outdoor adventure stuff like fishing and just uh Coyote hunting, hog hunting, stuff like that as well. So, uh, guys, uh, if any of you out there want to see uh, want to see your product on my channel, or you want me to review your product, you're more than welcome to uh, send me the product, and I'll be happy to do the review on it. I'll give you my honest opinion about it. Um, I'll put the the peel box information, the peel box address, in the link description below, in the little description box. Uh, Send me a message. Uh, my email, also all that's available. So, guys, uh, this is the gun nut again. Until next time. I'm hoping next time we can be able to do some shooting. Yeah. Because I've been trying to go hunting. Been busy with work. I've only maybe been out three, four times. No luck. So, I hope next time I do get to go out, I'll be able to get you all that kill shot with my new snake look adapter on my rifle. That'd be an awesome, awesome footage right there. So, again, guys, and to all the Gun Nut Nations out there, guys, thank you very much for all of your support, for viewing my channel, my videos, subscribing to them, commenting on them. Um, guys, it's a lot of love. I appreciate that very much. So, again, guys, till next time, this is the Gun Nut, and hopefully the next video will have a kill on it. Yeah. Till next time, guys, this is Gun Nut. I'm out.